Hi, this is Matt Thorne, and I'm uh, testing out my conversion of the Clone Wars Ultimate Lightsaber, which I am using in conjunction with a Corbin board, which you can see there. Here's the board from the Hasbro Ultimate Lightsaber. Um, this is just in the testing stage here. So there are a couple of problems that I should probably point out. One is that I seem to have damaged the uh, motion sensor from the uh, Ultimate Lightsaber when I removed it from the PCB, so it's not really responsive. And these three switches here basically do what the uh, three crystals do in the original Ultimate Lightsaber. Uh, I've got uh, blue, green, red here. Um, unfortunately, I wired them funny <laughs> so that they are only um, working when they are in the up position instead of in the down position. And I also managed to uh, somehow break the blue switch when I was installing it. So it is uh, uh, um, it's on unless I hold it down. So keeping that in mind. Uh, Anything else I need to introduce here? Well, you can see I just got a generic Hasbro motion sensor attached to the corb in there, which is working fine. Thank you. And I've got a uh, a uh, uh, DP DT momentary switch here, which turns on uh, the blue lines here are for the Corbin, and the yellow lines are for the Ultimate Lightsaber board. Uh, one problem, uh, particularly since the motion sensor is not very uh, responsive right now, is that the um, like all of the Hasbros, it has an auto off uh, function. So after about a minute, it turns itself off, which uh, is annoying. Uh, particularly when the lights are on, uh, the Corbin will of course keep going. So then uh, you end up with a light but no sound, and when you push the button again, you, you get the reverse. So you have to either uh, uh, reset it by pulling out battery or putting a, a plug in the kill port, uh, in the recharge port, or uh, you just have to wait for it to time out one more time, and then it'll be back in sync again. Okay, uh, um, so let's take a look at the color, shall we? Alright, so uh, we're all set up now. I will hold down the, uh, actually make sure all of these are depressed. I have to hold down the blue switch because like I said it's broken. And uh, when we turn it on, notice that there's uh, no light because none of the switches are active. And this is what the uh, switches look like when they're lit up. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, if I let go of the blue, there we get a nice blue. There's green. And notice when the uh, when the LED is on and when it's off, the brightness of the switches changes. And there's red. Here's orange, which is green and red together. Now for some reason the green LED on the switch goes out when it's in this configuration. I don't know why, but I guess it's not that important, at least not at this point. And there's red again, and here's what's supposed to be purple, but it's more like a magenta. Um, I think I'm going to have to put in a resistor of some kind on the red line so that I get something more purplish. When you have all of them going, you get What's supposed to be, I guess, a white, but is actually more of a pink. And when you have green and blue together, you get a nice cyan. And notice that the color, the uh, sounds change depending on the configuration. Uh, the the um, sound changes are the same as you get on the regular Ultimate Lightsaber. 
And I'll show you the problem that I'm having right now with the uh, automatic timeout. If I leave this alone for a while, the sound goes off and the lights stay on. And push the switch again. And I get the reverse. So, right now, the only way I can fix that is to take out a battery, put it back in, and voila. So that's where I am right now. I have to figure out, uh, I have to fix up the switches, uh, replace this with a proper motion sensor. And uh, I still don't know what to do about the automatic timeout. Um, hopefully a more sensitive motion uh, sensor will <laughs> eliminate the need.